So OpenAI announced its new model O3 today that was able to get 75.7% score on something called the ARC AGI benchmark. And if all of this sounds jumbo mumbo, just listen to this. Back in 2020, do you know how much GPT-3 scored on this test? Zero. And even OpenAI's latest model this year, GPT-4, managed to only get 5%. And now we are at over 75%. That's insane. And do note that the ARC AGI benchmark, it's not just another AI test. Unlike most other benchmarks that can be solved through pattern matching or statistical learning, where AI has an advantage over humans, right? ARC is literally designed to give humans an unfair advantage. And that is why we were seeing those 0%, 5% scores so far. So the tasks that ARC throws to solve basically involve understanding core concepts like spatial relationships between objects, how cause and effect work, you know, things that we humans can naturally grasp because of our living experience, interacting with the physical world from childhood, right? We have built-in intuitions about how objects move, what happens when they combine, etc. But most AI models have struggled with these type of reasoning because they work by identifying surface level patterns. But that seems to be history, at least from an outcome perspective. In fact, that 75.7% score was when OpenAI was operating within the budget rules of the ARC test, which was not to exceed $10,000 in total compute costs. When they let go of this constraint and turned into a low efficiency mode with unrestrained compute, they were able to hit 87.5% score. Yeah, it cost 172 times more compute, so very costly, but still 87.5% from 0 to 5% earlier. And how exactly O3 has cracked this? On this, what I have gathered so far is that they are utilizing something called deep learning guided program search. Effectively, the model generates and executes its own programs in the form of something called chain of thoughts to solve tasks as it is solving them dynamically. Anyway, my mind is blown and I think so should yours be. I'm Amrit on a mission to help the world and businesses communicate better. And I am really looking forward to see use cases that will emerge from O3's access once it's made publicly available soon.